fingers on the G note on the first string there and that's the third fret and then open E and then a D on the second string that's third fret and that's an open B I'm playing right now that's a G open E a D C, B, A, and a G sharp, and back to an open B. Okay, the next part is the basically the same thing, but it's a variation on it, and it sounds like this. here to that which I showed you early and that's the uh, open E and then uh, octave higher and E at the seventh fret on the fifth string. I'll play it one more time. Okay, it ends, that's part, ends here and I play a perfect fifth and that's an open E and then a B on the second fret of the fifth string, that's a B note and that's a perfect fifth, E and a B. Then it goes up here on the, uh, let's see, 12, 15, 17, 19, at the 19th fret you notice my uh, ring finger here? It's on the first string and it's at the 19th fret and that's a B note. And it's going to be played, the melody is going to be played exactly the way it's played down here, two octaves lower. And it sounds like this. Okay, the next part, it goes back down here, and it's pretty much the same thing what I showed you earlier. Now I'm on the uh, I'm on the D string at the 14th fret with my ring finger here. And then 
it goes back here to the main part of the uh, melody. And that's on the B string here, 14th fret on the 5th string. Same thing when I played all the way up here. But, you know, you play it with the uh, fast double picking. And it's, that's played twice. Now at the end, um, you go all the way up here, you're on the low E string, mm -hmm. and uh, this part here, the ending, you really don't uh, follow a very, you know, you don't follow a strict uh, timing. You just kind of tremble as fast as you can. And then you slide it all the way down. Your final notes are the low E and a B, and that's a perfect fourth. So again, you just tremolo as fast as you can. That's that's double picking up and down. And that's that augmented second there, an F and a G sharp. And then you tremolo. And then you slide it down. Picking technique, um, I always uh, make a point of holding the uh, pick at an angle. I don't think you want to hold the pick exactly uh, in line with the strings. Hold it at an angle so that it's kind of uh, brushing the strings at an angle. Uh, I don't know, maybe like uh, maybe a 30 uh, degree angle. Uh, if you keep it exactly in line with the string, I think you're going to have a lot of trouble having control picking. So again, you may want to just, uh, yeah, you will, you will have to, you will have to uh, hold it at an angle. Now maybe you might want to, maybe you hold the pick this way, or I, I prefer to hold it this way, and, uh, and then I, you notice I keep it at, at an angle on the strings. So, there you have it, uh, the victor. Thanks for watching. Bye.